Have you ever come across this problem where you wanted to install an epic game? Clicked on install and while you were hoping that the game would download in the background, all of a sudden, bam, you get this message install fail because you don't have sufficient space on your C drive. I faced the same problem and I found an ingenious way to solve it that I would like to share with you guys. And oh, by the way, my solution does not involve you first uninstalling the Epic Games launcher and then reinstalling it to a different drive that others have pointed out, or you would not have to unnecessarily see your softwares, see your installed softwares and delete the ones which are big in size to free up some space on your C drive. Other, and additionally, you would not have to um, move your game to a different drive by clicking on the browse button when Epic Games Launcher asks you do you want to install it to C drive. You can keep your games on a different drive and you can keep Epic Games Launcher on the C drive. So it's, it's a really clever way that I would like to show you. Let's get started. We have to first download a utility called Junction. So hit Junction download and browse to the topmost link. It's a software written by Mark Rasinovich. Currently, he is the CTO of Azure or Azure or Azure, as you will. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, this using this software, we are going to create a symlink which will solve the problem. So you can go through the documentation if you want. Right now, we are just interested in downloading it. It's a very small file, so just click on download and that's it. And download it. Okay, now let's uh, unzip it and then if you open it, you can find you have the 64 bit version and the 32 version. I'm going to move it from my downloads to a different folder. So right, right click and run as administrator. It, we will, uh, it'll ask us for our permission to install it. Just say agree and that's it. It's installed. Now for the command line to find junction we have we have to add it to the path in the windows okay now to do that right click we'll say copy unc path and open so these system properties where we will have to we will have to add it to the environment variable so this pc properties advanced system settings, environment variable. Now there are two paths, one for the user path system and one is for the system path, add it to the system path. Click on edit, add a new, paste. And then we just have to go to the folder above it and not to the actual exe. Click on okay, let's double verify it. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, now click on okay and we, we are good to go. Now, Right click, command from admin, and then we are going to hit junction. Okay, looks good. We can see the usage, the basic usage that this software has. So command line has been able to find it in the directory that we have provided in the path variable. Great, now actually create the symlink. Now we are going to create a symlink from my C drive to my X drive, which has 119 GB free, so it's sufficient to download any game. Not sufficient to download all games, but at least for some game, okay. So we have to replicate the folder structure. So I'm going to create a folder called program files. I'm going to right click and create a folder called Epic Games. And the Epic Games launcher will think that it's writing to C, whereas in reality, it'll be writing to the X drive. So you see the Epic Games folder is empty. If it's not empty, don't delete the Epic Games folder for God's sake. Please write, them, uh, write it in the comment and I'll create a, a new video for you for how to solve the problem if you already have some games, but you're running out of space. Don't delete it. For those who have, it's the first time it's empty, they can take this step. Okay, take a deep breath and hit delete, continue. Okay, yeah, don't worry, we'll be safe. Okay, now the actual step of creating the same link. Okay, so we need to first cd into the program files directory cd program files c colon program files and then we need 
just let's type junction and see the usage so we are going to use this usage junction junction directory junction target okay so let's write junction junction directory is the directory that we need to create which if you guess is the directory called epic games in quotes because there is a space in between epic and games and the target is going to be our x drive then if we hit tab we see all the folders it has if we need to go to program files come back and then hit tab again for epic games okay so what it has basically created is going to create a junction called epic games and which is map is which is going to map to the epic games in the x see it created a new folder which has a shortcut link so that's a basically a junction right let's fire up the epic games launcher and this time when it launches hopefully we should not have a problem fingers crossed moment of truth will be up shortly so it's based on my understanding it's basically nothing but a pointer where epic games launcher will be thinking that it is storing the game in the c drive while in actuality it is writing to because of junction it is being directed to the x drive so if we click on install this time hopefully you know, again again it'll ask us it's it thinks that it's still writing to the c drive program files epic games so it looks good to the epic games launcher looks good to me looks good to the system too click on install and if you click download then it didn't even start the last time so this time it's going to download the game it, it thinks it has a lot of space because it's 54 gb and i don't have that much space on c drive so uh in on my c drive i just have like 29 gigs free right properties free space just 29 gigs a little above it and whereas it's it's saving to the x drive so i'll wait for it to download like 100 mb and then i'll show you that it's not filling up space on my system drive this is uh, this is this will also help you not clutter up your space in the c drive which has your windows installation so you can download as many games as you want and the epic games launcher will be happy to thinking it's writing to the c drive well in actuality it's not and later and if, god forbid if your os crashes for some reason then you will not have to re-download all the games again so your games will be safe in a different directory okay let's almost there let's pause it and then we'll check the space on a, a c drive and an x drive okay let's pause it let's go to a c drive i'll hit refresh a couple of times f5 okay again right click properties you see it exactly has the same space okay now let's go to the x drive and see how many megs are there on disk so let's come back up and right click properties 124 m megs on size 156 m disk okay let's go to the c drive and check how many megs are there in the same folder in these epic games kingdom come deliverance right click and then you see okay 152 size on disk 156 i think it might have written let's now with now you, you have to realize this with junction what you are seeing here is in reality your x drive and not the c drive with junction windows will think that it's writing to c drive but in reality it's writing to x drive similarly epic games will think it's writing to c drive but in actuality it's the x drive i mean it's a little it's a it's a literally you have you have to be a little imaginative to think about this but that is how it works you see both you see you will see both the folders in both the drives but epic games full launcher will never complain because space is there i mean you have you have space in some other directory that you you've directed your games to launch to using junction that is the beauty of this solution that is the ingenuity of this solution i really hope you guys understand it to verify it let's go back to the x drive um, my x drive and then right click and check on properties 
Ah, see, same is the same, 150 to 156. So that's that's it, guys. Um, so I think we are safe. And Epic Games Launcher will not complain too. And you won't get that error. So you can download as many games as you want. And then and your games will be safe in the event of a hard disk or in, in the event of an OS crash. So that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you like what you see, if, if you liked what you see, saw, then please hit the like button please, if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel please hit the bell icon and if you want to say something please write them down in the comments below yeah, and yes if you want to see that video where your games are partially downloaded and it's not empty then i'll create a new video for you how to do it so write them down in the comments and i'll create a new video and so uh, thank you so much guys if see we have resumed the, the download of the game and it's starting from whatever it was 100 120 130 okay no more than that okay so thanks for watching guys see you next time